Hi, I'm Carlos Ulis, MD. I've come across five interesting areas I'd like to discuss today. So there'll be about five videos that will be like a sequence. And I call, I will be calling these five mystical molecules. And, uh, but I'd first like to introduce myself in saying that I've been involved in Olympic games where I first found out about that, you know, athletes do use drugs illegally for performance, but now, I see like in Los Angeles, people are using um, male hormones, steroids, whatever you want to call them, for Adonis complex or, you know, physique, how you look. And that seems to be kind of the, uh, the big thing. But however, there's even more serious issues of people who use steroids when they were younger, when they were in high school, they may have first sports or just to be buffed up, they may have used uh, anabolic steroids. And when you're about 18 or 19, you don't really, you know, think about what you're doing. And I have some patients who've used like five or six or seven different kinds of illegal steroids. I mean, even in some of those, which are like animal steroids called Ecopose, which is a, a veterinarian steroid to beef up cattle. So the problem being that when you are now about, you know, you were in your 20s and you may have used them for four or five years, you're now in your 40s and 50s and you want to, uh, you know, have sexual vitality, have children, be ster be fertile, be married, but you're, you're, nothing's working because you're, you have what's called AIH, androgen-induced hypogonadism. Your testicular signals from the brain have been shut down, so you are now technically kind of neutered or castrated. So this is something you did, and now patients, these patients come to me and say, well, I'm depressed, I have no libido, I, I have my erectile dysfunction isn't there, I have lost a big part of my life. So a, a big part of my job is to try to restore these men back to a normal sexual life and to get happy again, because some of these men are get so depressed, they're almost uh, suicidal. Why are they called mystical or mysterious? Because Number one, doctors don't uh, examine patients for these molecules. These molecules are not well understood by patients. And a lot of even scientific literature, the scientists who study androgens, male hormones, don't really understand them well. But there is some understanding, which I would like to pass on to you, uh, the best I do understand them.